Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Adam and welcome back to episode number 40 of my Level Up series, where I take Hashtag United through the levels of the footballing pyramid. Now, just before we get into today's video, as usual, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button below. It'd really help me out um, as I'm trying to beat uh, my marvellous march that I had where I broke subscriber records, view records, video records for myself. Um, it was an amazing month and I hope to kind of continue that and hopefully progress and build on top of the, the success that I had in March. Um, but anyway, enough with that. I need to focus on what you're all really here for, not to me rambling on about you subscribing and stuff like that. So we'll jump into the schedule first because we've played a fair few games since the Eastley game and things have been really positive. Um, a lot more positive than I thought it would be based on that first game against Eastley. Um, so straight into it, Chelmsford, a uh, playoff rival of ours, um, we managed to beat them 4-1, Jack Marshall, Jordan Edwards and MJ with the brace, comfortable win indeed. And we follow up with a nice 2-0 uh, win against Staines, Edwards on the score sheet again and MJ on the score sheet again and a clean sheet which is fantastic. Um, game against uh, struggling Hemel Hempstead, um, Sarpong, but the only goal of the game we deserve to get a, a, you know, a couple more goals. We did fully deserve the three points. and um, We played well against them. But again, got another clean sheet, which is really good to see. And um, We had a bit of a leakier defence last season than seasons previous. So it's nice to see we're already getting a few clean sheets on the board. And then we followed that up with a massive 2-0 win against Barnet. Um, so that's given me great hopes that we can actually challenge for the well beat them to the title this season as I still think they're going to be the main threat. MJ with a brace in that game. So where that leaves us in the league, we're sitting in uh, fourth place currently. Uh, we've obviously got a game in hand on Maiden there, Chelmsford and Dover ahead of us. So if we win this game, uh, the game in hand today against Salisbury, then we'll go top by a couple of points, which is a fantastic start. That'll be five wins from six and obviously no defeats either. And then what else is there? Transfers. We have made a transfer and it's a very nice uh, couple of transfers actually. We're starting off with Taylor Richards. Now look at this guy. This guy's unreal. Plays as a uh, number 10. And um, the attacker midfielder role. Yeah, just look. I mean the stats tell it all. Look, at it. look how well, well developed his uh, uh, polygon is. Compared to like other players in my team currently. Got a nice flag. Good, good technicals, good mentals, decent physicals. He's only 22. He's going to improve. His potential ability is five star for the team. His current ability is four and a half. So can't complain at all. He's on a non-contract. And then we've got Ben Forrest coming in as we need some, some strength <laughs> at the back. Um, he's all right. He's not fantastic, but he'll do. It's another body, and he's not too. He's solid enough. Like if you compare him to Tom Leake. Um, anyway, who, who else have we got in the back line? I don't, can't remember. Um, who else is it? Tom Leake and who else do you play? Oh yeah, Anarise. Anarise, yeah. Of course, Anarise. Jesus, I don't forget. Yeah, they're very similar types um, in, in quality. So I thought, yeah, bring him in. He's only on three hundred pound a week as well. So decent indeed. So without further ado, and today's episode we've got uh, Salisbury, Salisbury and Oilstone so yeah let's get straight into them. Right, <clears throat> let's quick pick just to get a grips with who's looking more fresh out of the team. Richards is going to be playing in behind, we're playing at home so we're going to play this formation. Edwards has been playing decent so I'm going to give him the nod over Rub Street. Um, in there. Yeah, I think that's about right. We'll submit the team. Hopefully, we're going to get continue our run with uh, another clean sheet and another three points. Yes, please. Off to an absolute flyer. Surprised me a little bit because I was a bit. Mm, I wasn't too sure. I know we've made a, a, some decent signings, but. To be fair, we only lost Smeaton really, so I don't know why. I'm, I think it's just because I'll, I know how good um, 
Barnet are. And obviously the playoffs are a bit of a lottery. Um, you can never guarantee that you're going to get promoted, as we saw last season <laughs> against Bromley. Pipping us to the post on that one. So it's really focused on getting that automatic promotion by obviously winning the winning the league. Richards shoots, it's blocked. Melbourne into Richards again, lays it off to Edwards who shoots and he puts it away for his third goal of the season. Nice little uh, on loan on loan signing, I'd say. Doing a nice job leading the line for us. Um, yeah, so it was the same. Yeah, so yeah, it's been a it's been a surprise. Uh, a pleasant surprise and we just need to just keep chipping away defensively we've been impressive which might just take us over that over the edge obviously it still is early days but we've already had how many clean sheets four from five games so if you if you're keeping clean sheets like that you're going to win games you're going to win a lot of games and not lose any games so that's what we need to keep focused on Johnson with the ball in Anarise picks it up but gets dispossessed by Chesters but then he just uses his strength to shrug him off now Forrest lays it off to Richards and then Circum and then MJ finds it plays it back to Richards who plays a lovely diagonal over to Johnson who's going to play it back to Marshall and Woodward should have scored there Woodward not Woodward. Um, what is my striker's name? What is my striker's name? Edwards. Jesus, Woodward. He's my fullback. Losing my mind. Absolutely losing my mind. How did I not remember that? that is, that's a bit concerning. John Gillier looks pretty decent for 18 year old region. I expect, well, for this level anyway. Chester's decent. A lot of value in their team, but we don't have a. We got a mixture of non-contract and part-time contracts. Sarpong. So some of our players don't even have any value because they're on non-contracts. Marshall, boom, nice, unlucky. Edwards. Can we win it the second time? No. Nope. Cross goes up just a bit wayward, just a bit behind him. Johnson, Sarpong, lovely out to Marshall again. Third time the charm. Ooh, no. Ah, oh, Richards. Yeah. I thought he might have done a little bit better there. Or maybe I'm just being a little bit too critical. To be fair, it's that close to the 18 yard box. It's kind of hard to get it up and over, really, isn't it? Not got enough space. Oof. Really caught that one. It was always going over, I think. So let's have a look. Let's continue. Julian Carter here. Got a lot of pace. A lot of pace. Pendlebury looks pretty decent. Got some solid players. He's on loan from Plymouth. Parry. Anthony Stewart. We go in <laughs> 1 0 up. Goal in the first minute. It's doing the job for us. They can't break us down at all from the looks of it. Their only highlight was a long range hit and hope. So if we just continue in this manner and the manner that we did in the first half, I think we'll. we'll We'll be comfortable. Just tell Marshall just to ease up a little bit. We don't want to get him sent off and just, you know, make things more nervy than they should be. On a reset. Boom, lumps it. Can't find Edwards though, but Sirkin picks it up. Plays it into Sarpong. What's he going to do with it? Plays it out wide to Marshall. Of course he does. Marshall find the cross. He does. Edward tees it up for MJ. I would have expected my, the uh, Vanarama South Player of the Month to do better there, I, which is mad to say. MJ scored five league goals in five games, <laughs> which is 
a stark contrast to last season. Excuse me. Which he yeah he scored a few goals, but I mean that was his that was his first season. This is this will be his first full season in the team now that Smeaton's gone. So you know maybe I'm being again a little bit too critical on him from last season, but he's done. He's been unbelievable so far this season. He's just just getting in the right areas, being very clinical as well in front of goal. So. We've had four half chances so far, and Edwards puts that one over. But we'll just continue, we'll just see getting creative. In fact, we'll take Forrest off because we don't really want to be. Uh, don't really want him um, being injured because I've left him on too long. Melbourne, Richards, Melbourne. Back to Circum. Boom. Ooh. Keeper tried to go for it. Didn't know. But the Salisbury player managed to clear it, and that ball was pretty poor. It looks, it looks pretty comfortable right now. Johnson with a lovely tackle. Mayer still gets, on, gets hold of it, though, and. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Scott saved it. No way. No way. No, 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 no. Yes, get a block on. That's it. And again, let's go. Let's go, Melbourne. Been a very good signing for us. And he's took a knock. Which means I'm going to have to do this. Bang. Bang. Um, who else can we bring on? Osborne. Go on. I mean, you can't really play <laughs> advanced playmaker, but I'm just going to put you there anyway. Tech, well, to be fair, your stats do mimic somewhat of a uh, number 10. You know, some nice technicals, not amazing physically, because he doesn't need to be. He just needs to be in, the, in between the lines, just picking them little passes just to carve through the defence. But... Solid, solid performance. I, I, I feel like I feel for you guys who are watching because the past few games have been a lot more entertaining than this, and this is similar to the first episode, um, not the first episode, last episode when we played Eastley and it was absolutely well. This is a bit better. At least you've seen a goal <clears throat> and a few more uh, highlights, I suppose. Circum, can we get a late goal there? Osborne picks it up, oh, just, just goes wide. They're going very attacking with a 3-4-3, absolutely mental stuff. From Salisbury trying to just do throw everything. Kitchen sink, ironing board, washing machine, fridge, everything. Edwards, Terry, good old Tezza. That's it. United one. It's all bring now. Let's go. Tell the boys they were excellent. And then we end up nicely at the top of the table. Uh, everything's going pretty well, so let's just jump straight to the milestone game. Alright guys, we're back at it again and we need to go to the chance first because we've brought back someone who left us last season because he thought he was too good for the club. He was like, no, you don't have enough ambition. But now, now that he can't find a club, a better club than us, he wants to come back. And normally, I'm the type of manager who wouldn't do that because I'm spiteful like that. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, I'll leave you, leave you to rock. But because um, the position is thin and I know that he's, he can do the job and he does it well and he played well last season, that we're bringing him back and that guy is Ryan Reynolds on a non-contract 
solid 22 years old you know he, he's I think he might be my best um, centre back so well worth bringing back he's come running back good addition to the team and um, there's another old school blast from the past player that wants to come back as well but I'm not too sure whether to bring him back which is Osario who is very good plays as a plays in midfield but can play number 10 as well but now I've got Richard so I'm thinking do we need him but he is a good player and he's young and the likes of Daniel Osborne and Sirkham are getting old so I'm thinking maybe we do bring him in but he does want a lot of wages he wants like £575 a week so it's difficult it's difficult I'm not too sure yet I guess you'll find out <laughs> at the start of next episode whether I end up doing a deal or not because I mean he is good he would be a good addition to the team you know he would strengthen the team and make the bench a lot stronger but yeah, I'm not, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Let me get my phone. Just have to check my phone for a sec. Clearly didn't miss anything. <laughs> Another fantastic game for all you lovely viewers to watch. John, John Neal's had a mare though John Neal yeah John Neal's had a mare he's got sent off now which means I think we're going to go for it seeing as we are dominating possession anyway so why not why not go for it Wellstone are having a bit of a troublesome time this season um, obviously last season they got to the playoffs we're a strong strong team What they were in the playoffs all the way through um, pretty much all the way through the season like so, we've had a bit of a turn for the worst, I'd say. Which is a bit sad to see. A rival struggling as much as they are, but... We need to heap a bit more misery on them by getting the three points today. But it's not looking too likely. I mean, we've had no clear cuts, no half chances. They've had no shots at all. So we've been done well to contain them. But we've not been able to get much offence off ourselves. Let's have a look. See who they've got. James Owen, capped at under 20s for Wales. Mm, interesting, interesting. That's our first shot of the game, and that's well wide. We'll go to try push forward. Dan Lafferty. Online from Colchester. Alright, come on, boys, let's do this. Keep the wins going, keep the wins going. They can't, they can't score. Our defence is too strong. Johnson, I know you, the big lad, not can can normally tuck a header away for fun, but that was a bit poor that one, wasn't it? Right. Go like that. We'll go like that. Switch up, bring Street on. Edwards is having a bit of his first poor game. I don't know, that might be a bit harsh. I mean, you know, he, he, was, he, was, he was just, he had, an average, very, he's had a very average game, hasn't he, really? But the team in general is having a very average game, considering they've been down to 10 men for a good while now. We've still not been able to break him down. Rob Street with his first call for the club. Let's go. What a strike that was. Yeah, let's go. 
Circle lumped it up. Robertson thought he'd cleared it. Street on the edge of the box strikes it for strikes it well but the keeper really should be doing better but we can't complain too much because that's put us 1-0 up with 15 minutes to go um, let's just go back to uh, positive how we were defend, defend no, Owen the danger boy. Oh my god, Melbourne, what was that? What was that? Good job he can't shoot to save his life. Because that was some terrible defender by Melbourne. I'd expect a little bit better from him. Seeing as he's arguably one of my best players. Um, most experienced players, anyway. Not looking like. We're going to sneak away with three points here, which probably isn't deserved. I don't think we've deserved three points <laughs> in this game. <laughs> it's like we've created nothing. Um, it's just a, a great strike from Street that's uh, been the difference. Been pretty well, been pretty poor. Def defensively, very, very good. <laughs> we only let them have two shots on goal, but offensively, very poor, lacking creativity. Just yeah, just not really carved out any any even half decent chances really. Another pretty poor game for you guys, which I apologise for. Hopefully in the next episode we'll have some more exciting games. But you know, with three points is the three points. We want to get promoted this season. We don't want to linger in this division too long and stagnate. We keep want we want to keep pressing forward. We need to win games, no matter what the cost. So there we have it. Hashtag United won. Well stolen. Now, Rob Street with his first goal of the season gets him off the mark, which is real nice to see. Say we're impressed with him. Certainly. Certainly. There we go. That rounds out. A nice couple of uh, games for us. Another two clean sheets, and yeah, we're just looking very solid at the moment. Top three points clear of Chelmsford. We've got Maidenhead, Farnborough, and then next over to be expected, Barnett to be expected. Uh, Welling, I think they were in and around the uh, playoffs last season as well, or up in mid table. So let's have a look at the schedule before we're going to come back. I might, I might come back for the Worthing game or should we, uh, Maidenhead but I think I mean Maidenhead Maidenhead and Farnborough I think will be the best one just because they're in the playoffs at the moment so they'll be two hopefully competitive games for us to play and obviously something to to fight for um, yeah I think yeah, Maidenhead Farber is a perfect place to come back. Obviously, we've got a fair few games in between. We've got a nice uh, FA Cup second qualifying round, so see if we can actually make some revenue <laughs> for a change. Because cup competitions, we haven't been that. Um, did we have it? Actually, we had a pretty solid run was it last season. Can't remember. In fact, I can just have a look now. Okay, yeah, last last season. Yeah, we didn't do that great in the Cups. It was the season before that we did really well. But anyway, enough chit chat. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, dislike it if you disliked it, comment if you want to comment, and subscribe if you want to subscribe. Thank you all again very much for watching, and I hope to see you in episode number 40. Cheers.